With the recent release of the unique GTI 15 Ultra Mini PC, B-Link has also updated its EX dock designed specifically for external GPUs. The new iteration is now officially called the EX Pro, although interestingly enough, you won't actually know this just by looking at the box, as there's no clear indication or labeling on the package or dock itself. So what's the actual difference between the original EX dock and this new Pro version? Well, the most significant upgrade is that the PCIe Gen 4 X8 slot found in the previous model has been updated to PCIe Gen 5, effectively doubling the available bandwidth and allowing you to fully maximize the capabilities of the PCIe slot on both the GTI 14 and the newer GTI 15 Ultra Mini PCs. This is a substantial improvement for data transfer speeds and overall GPU performance depending on the game. Apart from this upgrade, the very nice design aesthetic and impressive build quality that made the original dock popular remains completely the same, maintaining the premium feel users have come to expect. The X Pro Dock comes in at $179 US dollars on B-Link's official website, while on Amazon.com it's available for as low as $129 US dollars. That's quite the difference. Of course, the GTI 15 Ultra starts at $1200 US dollars, so either way, this combo costs quite a bit of coin. The 600 watt inbuilt power supply is exactly the same as before, offering plenty of wattage for most GPU configurations, especially when you take the limitations into account. However, once again, I need to voice my complaint that additional 8 pin power connectors weren't added to the Pro version, which seems like a missed opportunity for improvement. Only two 8 pins are available on the dock, and officially, a single 8-pin connector can carry 150 watts of power. Unofficially, however, they can actually carry much more power as long as the cable quality is up to snuff. A well-constructed, high-quality splitter should theoretically be able to carry 300 watts safely. So, make sure to get something of high quality from a reputable manufacturer. And if you're using a fairly recent Nvidia graphics card, particularly the newer generation models, you also need to connect the 2x8 pin to 12VH power adapter cable to the splitter to properly power your GPU. Sounds pretty messy and more complicated than it should be? Yes. Although, to be completely fair, with the dock's 2 slot GPU limitation and maximum width restriction of 72mm, you're unlikely to get a power hungry 600 watt GPU mounted on the dock in the first place. Last time we looked at it, I did manage to fit a 3x8 pin GPU so at least one more 8-pin power connector would have been nice. Also featured on the dock is a convenient fan header port allowing you to add a PWM controlled fan for additional cooling if required. And while Wi-Fi range tested on the GTI 15 Ultra was already quite good, you can achieve even better range and signal strength with the external antennas that can be mounted. Although it's worth noting that neither the antennas nor the M.2 Wi-Fi card is actually provided in the package, only the Wi-Fi mounting plate. Necessary screws and power cables are included in the box. While you can pull out the Wi-Fi card from your existing mini PC and reuse it, you'll still need to separately purchase the external antennas. I think they should have been included. There's also an extra USB 2.0 port on the dock because, um, well, why not? It's a nice bonus feature, even if it seems somewhat random. The final bit of expansion capability is a 2280 M.2 Gen 4 X1 NVMe slot located inside the dock, giving you a total of three storage drives when combined with the two drive slots found in both the GTI 14 and GTI 15 Ultra Mini PCs. Now let's walk through putting it all together step by step. It's easiest to add the NVMe drive or Wi-Fi card first if you plan to use these features. Start by unscrewing the metal back panel which has a thermal pad attached for the M.2 slot and acts like a large heatsink to dissipate heat. There's also a decent sized fan dedicated to cooling the power supply unit. The good news is you don't actually need to unscrew the mini PC to plug it in which makes the installation process easy if you're not adding the SSD or Wi-Fi card. To finish up the installation, screw in the mini guardrail for reinforcement, unless you plan to remove the mini regularly for transport or maintenance. Next, screw in the GPU bracket firmly to provide support. Slide in the graphics card and secure it firmly in place with the provided screws. Now, we're ready to power everything up. Once the cables are connected, 
press the power button on the dock, and then the mini PC. I've thrown in an RTX 4070 Super for testing. Oh, and it's best to plug the display cable into the mini PC first, as you might not get any display through the GPU until the driver is installed. B-Link's EX Pro Dock will give you the best possible external GPU interface available on the market since it's using a full PCIe slot connected directly to the motherboard. Alternative solutions like USB 4 and Oculink simply can't match it on raw bandwidth capabilities. Since B-Link's GTI 15 Ultra has USB 4 connectivity, let's see how they compare directly with some games. Improvements in frame rate will vary significantly depending on the specific game you're playing, the resolution you're running at, the detail settings you've selected, and whether you're running an unlocked frame rate or capped at a specific refresh rate. With competitive esports titles, we're not seeing much of a performance difference at 1440p high settings, as these games are typically less GPU intensive. Baldur's Gate 3 sees a huge and very noticeable performance in the 1% low frame rates, which means smoother gameplay with fewer stutters. While in Forza Horizon 5, the USB 4 connection holds back the GPU completely and gets less than half the frame rate compared to the PCIe connection. So here we have a demonstration of a massive bottleneck. Cyberpunk 2077 also sees another large and substantial increase in performance with the PCIe connection. So there we have a range of scenarios showing little to massive change depending on the specific game engine and how it utilizes GPU resources. I was curious how much power it used, and Beeling stock paired with the RTX 4070 Super hit a maximum of 260 watts from the wall during my testing under a full gaming load which didn't push the 600 watt power supplies capabilities at all and leaves plenty of headroom for higher end GPUs. The passive cooling provided by the metal plate for the NVMe SSD running at approximately a quarter of its maximum rated sequential speed is more than plenty to keep temperatures in check. And we saw no thermal throttling whatsoever during extended testing sessions. B-Link's EX Pro Dock together with the GTI series of mini PCs is genuinely one of the best ways available on the market to give your compact mini PC a massive graphics performance boost thanks to the Gen 5 X8 PCIe slot. And keep in mind that the older GTI 12 and GTI 13 models are limited to Gen 4 X8 connectivity and won't benefit from the Gen 5 upgrade. B-Link was also reportedly planning to make a larger dock supporting 3-slot GPUs last year for those wanting to use bigger graphics cards, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So if you're interested in purchasing the EX Pro Dock for your own GTI Ultra setup, you can find it linked in the video description below. B-Link's GTI 15 Ultra Mini PC was recently reviewed comprehensively on the channel, so if you missed that one, I've got it linked for you right here. Cheers!